Be careful when you buy a battery from batteries and bulbs or places like that, especially if you order it online. The batteries and bulbs website is wrong because a year and a half ago I went there and they gave me a battery for my truck. The old battery I gave them was 12 inches long. The battery they gave me was 9 inches long. And I even talked to them about it several times and said, why does is, shouldn't the battery fit in the truck? It doesn't fit properly. And they swore that it was okay. A few months ago I called them because the battery voltage was below 12.8 volts. It was around 12 and a half. And they said as long as the truck is starting it's fine. Then a few months later when I got back in the truck from going to the store, completely dead, wouldn't start. Also the vents on the top of the battery were leaking slightly and that's due to overcharging. So there you go, the battery they gave me was too small so my charging system in the truck was overcharging it because the charging system in the truck is designed for a bigger higher capacity battery than what they gave me. When I went there yesterday, brought the battery, they had to test it for a couple hours and when they say that they'll get back to you, they'll probably forget so make sure you call them within a few hours and ask them what's going on with the test on the battery because they want to test it before they give you a replacement and after talking with the guy he seemed to know a little bit about it he said the F-150s that were made in Canada I guess have a bigger battery than the ones in the US but that's actually not true because I look, he told me to look in the sticker in the door jam and I did and I'll be showing you that in a video and it shows that the, this truck was made in the USA, not Canada. So it makes sense, the truck with a pretty big engine, so it's going to need a battery with a lot of amperage to turn that starter motor to get the truck going. So just be careful because their systems were obviously wrong and I got stuck with a bad battery after a year and a half because the truck was overcharging it and then the battery just finally gave out because it was being overcharged. If the video helped, give it a thumbs up so that YouTube will show it to others. And this doesn't apply to just this truck. It could, there could be, I'm sure there's other vehicles on these websites where they're selling the wrong batteries for them even though you put in all the information and it's telling you to get a specific battery. If it doesn't fit in the battery tray and it's smaller, then measure the battery tray and get the bigger battery. Don't listen to what they tell you. Tell them you want the battery that fits. Because the smaller battery they gave me, I had to put things in there, pieces of wood and stuff, so that the battery would fit. And it only worked for a year and a half. The good thing was that the guy at the store did the right thing since the website was wrong and he gave me the correct size battery and didn't make me pay the difference because obviously this bigger battery costs more than the smaller one that they gave me a year and a half ago. If you've had any issues like this where they give you the wrong size battery and then it fails a short time later or something similar to this, dealing with a certain website that sells batteries or some place that you went to that sells batteries then leave a comment below. Open the door in your truck and you can see right here whether it was made in USA or Canada. Here it says USA. So the information the guy said is not entirely accurate because this truck takes the bigger battery even though it was made in the USA. He was saying that only the trucks made in Canada use the bigger battery. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell. And if you have any suggestions for a future video, leave a comment.